I love my sibling because he always comes to hug you and smiles a lot. Sometimes it's a bit annoying when he hugs me because he's, he might drivel on you or something like that. Likes to chew his clothes a lot. Likes playing with water. He will splash you a lot. They tend to, to love their food. Looking at pictures, they love reflective surfaces. I would describe her as a toddler with, with eight years worth of experience of life. They are very inquisitive. They like to touch things and work out how things work. The focus of attention will just flit back and forward between things. It's very complex. I think he's got a full personality. It's not just the love or the smile. He has strong emotions. He's growing up. It's really hard to tell what's Ewan and what's Angelman syndrome because the two are so interlinked. We have to give him like a sleeping potion so then he would go to bed easier. So management of sleep is complex and often families need some help with that. Many children just simply don't need as much sleep. Sometimes he wakes up at about three in the morning. That happens at least once a week. He's very um, hyper. I know children with Angelman syndrome who run. They don't just walk, they run. She gets around very well on her own by crawling, by holding onto a handrail, but mostly by holding onto the hand of a supporter. Sports day for us is something that, uh, it's a day that Jack absolutely loves. Um, he runs virtually every race, whether he's supposed to be in it or not. And once, once he decides that he doesn't want to do something, he just gets on the floor and lies there and he can't get him to stand up, whatever you try and do. Supermarket trips in general are very entertaining, where he can reach both sides of the aisles. He will happily empty the shelves, empty everybody's basket as he's walking around. He might nick someone's thing from their bag and then try and either eat it or throw it on the floor or chew it or something. If she wants attention, sometimes she'll bite, but not very often. You put a piece of paper down, she ripped it. You put your best china out, she'd break it. Families would describe um, Angelman individuals as pretty stubborn or, or determined. Lots of children display behaviours that could be considered challenging and that can include things like um, physical aggression, biting, pulling hair um, and this is obviously really distressing for the families. We find that um, if we create a lot of activities and always make sure that he's entertained, uh, we don't get um, challenging behaviour. It's, it's, it's really a, a sign of boredom and um, uh, frustration. Find the right things for them to enjoy and, and he will sit nicely. And even if he can't get, get out of his bucket and run around and play with the other children, he really likes to be included and he really likes watching them play. She loves the dog's fur, just likes to yank the tail but the dog and her are best mates. And he reaches out and grabs people either with his smile or with his arms and, um, and gives the best hugs. People will fight over, you know, we want to have Harvey because he's fun to be with and that's absolutely lovely. And it makes me feel happy because he's always happy.